President Trump may once again be seriously considering firing Attorney General Jeff Sessions. Washington correspondent Alexander Limon reports that lawmakers on Capitol Hill are divided on the issue, even within the president's own party. In a Thursday morning tweet, President Trump said that outgoing White House counsel Don McGahn, quote, was not responsible for me not firing Bob Mueller or Jeff Sessions. My deep concern is the president would be pursuing the, the goal of firing Jeff Sessions in order to derail the Mueller investigation. Senator Jeff Merkley says it's no secret President Trump is unhappy with Attorney General Jeff Sessions, mostly because the Attorney General recused himself from the investigation into Russia and the Trump campaign. And so he wants someone who's going to protect him regardless of the rule of law, regardless of the Constitution. While it's no surprise that Democrats like Congressman David Cicilline are critical of President Trump, the issue is causing a divide among Republican senators. Some party leaders say the president should not fire the attorney general. I think it would be a mistake. Um, I support uh, Attorney General Sessions. I have total confidence in the Attorney General. I think he ought to stay exactly where he is. But the Republican chairman of the Senate Judiciary Committee, Chuck Grassley, seems fine with replacing Sessions. The senator says his committee has time for confirmation hearings. But it wouldn't matter whether it's for an Attorney General or anybody else in the cabinet. Senator Lindsey Graham is also siding with President Trump on Sessions. Trump doesn't like him. <laughs> and that this relationship is soured. And Senator Graham says the bad relationship isn't good for the country. In Washington, Alexandra Limon.